Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Material UI with your Next.js project. So, let's get started. First of all, you have to install your Next.js TypeScript project using either of these commands. So, I'm going to use yarn. I have used yarn create next step and I have created my initial Next.js project here. And next, what we are going to do is we are going to install few packages and they are you can copy this from material ui the official website and you, are, you should copy this one and by clicking enter you can install these packages that are need to integrate material ui so this will install material ui in your project after installing material ui you have to install another package called emotion server so we are going to use this npm command uh, to install emotion server npm install emotion server so this will install a pa this package called uh, emotion server i have successfully done that one next what we have to do is we have to go to this material ui uh, official repository so in that repository you can find a material ui uh, project and there you have a folder called example so they have provided everything what needs to be done uh, to integrate material ui with this uh, next.js project so after clicking this folder material next.js so you have this initialized project what we are going to do is we are going to copy these specific files to our project and integrate material UI successfully. You can easily open this repository in a very uh, user friendly mode by going to github once.com you have to edit this uh, URL by adding 1s once.com so it will open up this repository on a visual studio kind of code editor but we can't edit code but we can easily, easily navigate and have a look at this code and uh, do our things easier. So in here what we are going to do is uh, we are going to copy a few files and create few uh, files and integrate material UI properly on your Next.js application. So the first file what I'm going to uh, copy is uh, theme.ts file inside the src. I'm going to copy theme.ts and uh, create emotion cache.ts files. copy this one and inside the src folder I'm going to create theme.ts next we are going to copy this uh, create emotion cache file this one. and we are going to create a new file called create emotion cache and we are going to copy it in here next what we are going to do is we are going to update this app.tsx file go to the official repository copy this app.tsx file and here there are something that you should remember you should not replace this first import which is a global style import you have to keep it as it is and copy the rest of the files you copy it from the initial repository I will add the global imports here and also you have to uh, change this uh, URLs to access these files will save it next we are going to update our document.txx file so we are moving for the official repository here and copy this document.txx file entirely and paste it in here so that's it guys so that's how you can 
uh, copy these files and integrate material UI proper in your Next.js file, Next.js project. And the all the details about these files and what, what are the use, use cases I have implement, I have described them on my Medium article. I will add the link on the description. I have described everything what they have done using this emotional style tags, the injecting and everything. So let's run our project. So you can see our app is running smoothly and correctly on port 3000. And one minor thing I should mention. So don't forget to edit these uh, URLs to access these files. So in the document in the official repository they have added this src but after since we are copied inside this src folder and the relative parts have been changed a bit so please uh, add this correct path to access these files relative path from this uh, document and app.tsx files so that's it guys so that's how you can edit the uh, uh, add material ui to your next js project and if you are really curious so what happens here so I will roughly tell it what they are doing is they are going they are injecting the essential uh, MUI styles on top of your uh, single page application and also they are caching them so that initial render may get a few seconds but after initially rendering the next rendering of your application gets very fast and smooth so that's their that's what uh, this integration does for, for your next JS application so more details are I have added on my uh, medium blog and I have added the link on the description as well. So don't forget, forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel guys. Have a nice day. Let's meet with another nice tutorial very soon. Bye.